Funding is provided by a grant from New York State Senator Catherine M. Young, representing Western New York's 57th District with a local office in Olean. Funding is provided by a grant from Absolute Care of Westfield, committed to returning the favor to those who spent a lifetime caring for others. Absolute Care is located at 26 Cass Street in Westfield. Dave Cass and Rick Newell provide funding on behalf of the Lakeview Hotel and Restaurant at the Docks, located on Water Street near the lake in Mayville. From the Access Channel 5 television studio in Mayville, it's Senior Report with Reed Powers. Join us live Saturday mornings between 9 and 10 a.m. in Fredonia, Mayville, and Silver Creek. Call in and share a thought or wish someone a happy birthday with Chautauqua County's only live on-air senior program. Reed continues in his 15th year with interesting guests expressing their viewpoints and informing the community on a variety of subjects. Here's the host of the show, Reed Powers. Hello, good morning. What a beautiful day in Chautauqua County. That sun is beaming down. It's beautiful, it's sweet, and it's lovely. I can take my glasses off, ladies and gentlemen, uh, because I just had new eyes put in. And I, that laser, that, not laser, it was regular surgery. And what they do is uh, I had cataracts, and everything was hazy and brown, and it was horrible. And the worst thing is I, had to, I keep losing my glasses all the time, you know. But uh, at this, what they do is they go in, they crack, they have a ultrasound, ultrasound gizmo, and they, it, it sounds like a Japanese violin, I might add, as it's singing away. And it uh, cracks your lens all up, and they suck it out, and uh, with, they just to make a little teeny weeny slit in your eye and do all this. Then they've got a fold up lens, a plastic lens, that's set, uh, and they fold it up, and it's about the size of a needle, and they put it in, and pop, it opens right up, and you've got a new lens. And they uh, pat you on the back and send you on your way. It takes 15 minutes. Yeah, they don't put you out. They give you a little something to make you, uh, numb you up a little. That's about it. And I had it, uh, so I walked out on my front porch and I took the patch off and I walked out and I said, my gosh, I haven't seen like this for 40 years. It was a miracle. Bright, everything's sunny and pretty and the whites are whites and the blues are blues. I went down immediately the following week and had the other eye done, fellas. And if you, if you have cataracts, and you haven't had surgery, take it from the old man, go down and get the cataracts removed, get new lenses, and you'll never regret it because it'll be like a new life. The only thing is you do need, they said it, they say, the doctor will say, do you want it for long distance or up close? You have your choice. And I said, well, of course, long distance. He said, well, then you have to use your reading glasses when you're up close, when you want to read. I said, no problem. I carry them around. I got a little tiny, little tiny thing I carry them in. And... Uh, I also have two or three lying around the house at the computer and in my office. You know, you know how it goes. Get the laser surgery, ladies and gentlemen. If you know anybody who's been stalling around, tell them it's painless, it just takes minutes, and it's a, whole, it's a revelation. It's a miracle. You will not believe. Yeah, I'm a little fuzzy, he says. Uh, you can see two days. You can't see two days, but after two days you can see. But I'm not allowed. I, I was not warned not to, caution not to shave. Uh, for a little while because of the water and the soap and the, uh, the, the agitation. You've got to be, you don't want to agitate your eyes for the first few days. All right, I, anyway, I'm going to wear a beard, right? <laughs> All right, I, let's see here, enough of that. Let's talk about the world events. Well, there's nothing changed. We've got this horrific war going on over in Afghanistan and also in Iraq, even though they tell us they're withdrawing some of the combat troops at some a little at a time and the combat troops will not be fighting unless, uh, give me a break here, and in the meantime he's doubled or tripled the size of the war effort over in Afghanistan. It's costing us a bundle and they're bringing our boys back in boxes as always. I hate it. I think it's terrible and I wish somebody would do something about it but you just can't seem to change things in our government. All right, 
So that's what's going on on the national level, and of course we've got all the other nuts, nutsy stuff happening. Uh, the uh, and uh, the only thing you're going to see is Tiger Woods got divorced, <laughs> and he, he's winning in the in the newest round. <laughs> and you find out that the movie stars are all cheating. That's what you see on TV. They don't want you to hear about the war, or know about it, or even think about it, because. Who's making money on it? The arms manufacturers, the rich and powerful. You're not making any money. It's going to cost your grandchildren a, a, a literally a pile. You're going to be eating this stuff. That's cat food. Because they don't give seniors a cost of living anymore, which we were always promised. And Senate, the, the Congress, who gave themselves a nice, healthy raise, said, well, seniors, you don't need a cost of living increase because there's no cost of living increase. There's no inflation, which is hunkum, bunkum, and nonsense, and BS. Go down to the supermarket and look. In the meantime, this year, no, the second, next year, no. They predict there's going to be no inflation next year, too. Give me a break. Congress should be, uh, I don't know, they, I keep getting an email. Throw them all out. Let God sort them out. <laughs> Locally. Okay. Well, they finally passed the New York State budget. And uh, that means the legislators can get paid again, as though they don't just put it in escrow, pay them when they pass the budget. And there are only three people running the, the legislature anyway, the New York state government. They're all downstate people from New York. Governor, the leader of the Senate, the leader of the House. And if you don't do what the leader of the Senate says and you're in the Senate uh, and you're in their party, uh, you disappear. Same happens if you don't do what Shelley uh, Silver tells you to do in the assembly. You just disappear. Goodbye, incidentally, one of the greatest guys, they called him the conscience. That was Bill Parment. He was the conscience of our assembly. He used to get up and rant and rave about how what they're doing is illegal, is irresponsible, and is probably immoral for sure. It might even be fattening. And of course, they just walked, trooped out and let him talk. <laughs> Nobody was there. Bill Parment, great job for many years. He's my cousin. I've got to say that anyway. <laughs> I wouldn't have to say it, but he is. Okay. Andy Goodell's running for his post. And so is Nancy Barger, both uh, Chautauqua County legislators, and Andy, of course, was the uh, was the town executive for a while. All right, locally we have some great stuff. Dunkirk Federated Seniors—they are a great group over there. They have a wonderful place. Loretta Hemick, Hemick is the president over there. And if you want to get involved, go ahead and drop in, and say say hello to to Loretta Hemick. Um, I wanted to mention that. Uh, they had a great picnic there, and uh, it just, all of them had having picnics. It's terrific, and we had a wonderful picnic over Chautauqua Lake on the uh, <clears throat> oh that lovely little place now that the state has taken over. Praise the Lord, Midway, still have the train. Yeah, uh, Lakeshore seniors have their, uh, their they had their picnic the 25th of August. Charlene Hallmark is the president there. Get in touch with her. Drop her on on September 1st. That's their meeting. They do meet at the Dunkirk Senior Center also. It's a great center. It has plenty of room. It has an indoor track. Can you beat it? The Mar Mount Carmel Social Club meets over in uh, uh, Silver Creek. Carm Tampio is the president there. And if you want to get involved, drop in with her. She opens the door, does the job. Uh, they have a lot of members, incidentally. They have, you have, they have 40, 40, 50 members at their meetings. It's terrific. They're going to set up with the ARP Safe Drivers course. When it shows up, take it. It's a, it first of all, it gives you 10% off uh, your insurance, and it knocks off points if you ha have the misfortune to have some points against your license, they disappear. And on top of that, you have a good time, two days, you learn a couple of tricks, uh, just a short session each day. You meet your neighbors, watch a tape, and uh, relax a little bit and have coffee and cake. Can't beat it. And it's very cheap. AARP runs it every year. I learned to uh, always carry a body stocking with me. And tell your wife about it, men. <laughs> you, you carry the body side. What do you use it for? Well, if you lose a fan belt, it works. You can take it and tie it up good and tight on your fan and, or whatever you have, and uh, it'll get you to the next gas station where you can have a repair done. It works. Go around the block rather than turning left, too, I might add. Um, Silver Creek Seniors, another Silver Creek group. They have their own little beautiful place on uh, Route 5 and Route 20. Ed Newman does the job there. And I have a note or two here I wanted to mention, if I could only unstick these. There you go. I hate to lick everything because it gets your, your spit on all of it. Uh, they did mention the fact uh, that there is a safe driving course coming up in the Silver Creek group, other group. 
Uh, their meeting is August 31st. Rose Falcone and Irene Connie will be serving the food and the coffee, which is very, very important. And of course, bingo will be played. <laughs> Most senior groups have bingo. Uh, Sinclairville, Elaine Pomertitis is the uh, president over there, and she's doing a great job. They have wonderful luncheons every time. I mean, most of them catered. And uh, they had Tom Cooper, the president of the, Chita of the Casadega Lakes Association. You don't think about these little lakes. They're very important. Things, they have a weed cutter out there. Of course, the question is, does it do anything? It's like mowing your lawn. You know, it goes right back. <laughs> In the meantime, you have millions of tons of stuff floating around. But they have been trying it, and they can, the alternative is poisons. Nobody wants the poisons in it, so what do you do? You're going to have weeds, I guess. Uh, just don't throw detergents containing phosphates. Don't use them even around the lake because it is a fertilizer, and it really helps the weeds. The weeds go crazy. I want to mention the annual Sinclairville History Fair coming up. It's on Saturday, September 11th, and it'll be the 12th History Fair. It includes... Grand Parade, music, historical display, uh, displays, the pie contest, contest antiques, uh, tractors, craft shows, farmer market, food stands, and you have a street dance, and finally a fireworks display, and it says they will be also um, featuring fooling around. What's that mean? I don't know. All right. <laughs> Next meeting is with Clarivelle Senior, September 14th. Drop around. They meet usually in the Sinclairville Fire Hall dining room where they also put together meals. You know, they do Meals on Wheels. Did you know that? Yeah, the Sinclairville crowd. They do a wonderful job, too. Uh, Westfield Seniors, they meet at the YWCA. They had just had a great meeting with an annual picnic. Theirs was at Ottawa Park, that beautiful park down on Lake Erie near Barcelona. Dan Hess won the door prize. Hello there, Dan Hess. Next meeting, if you want to drop around, September 9th. No meetings in August, incidentally. They're having a potluck dinner at 6 p.m. at the Y. September 9th, drop around. Meet uh, Linda Burton. Tells you how to become a foster grandparent. Most of us are grandparents anyway. And I have some more. Oh, you sure? Uh, I was just informed that the news time is over. I cannot read any more news. I cannot talk about any more news. Uh, it's time for the geezer, and that's the end of it. End of the story. Well, I don't know what's going on here, geezer. There you go. All right. Okay, we now have a public service announcement, and the geezer will appear. Travel advisories to small business loans. Retirement savings to Medicare coverage. ID theft protection to contacting elected officials. Student loans to taxes online. Whether you have information to get or ideas to give, USA.gov is the official place to connect with your government. From surplus car auctions to finding a new job, our new mobile apps will keep you updated on the go. So, from marriage records to passport applications, veterans benefits to birth certificates, patent applications to energy saving ideas, Product recalls to home buying tips. Check out USA.gov because the country runs better when we stay connected. You notice they showed you the fluorescent lights? Use those. They, 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 first of all, they're only a quarter of the electricity. They put out very little heat and they are wonderful for our environment. <laughs> Here's a geezer, Mort Flexer. He shoots from the hip. Good morning, Mort. Good morning, Reed, and good morning to our guests, and most particularly, good morning to our audience. You know, we've finally reached a point in this country where one out of every two marriages ends in a divorce. That's, that's really sad. Uh, think back to your family. Marriage was, uh, marriages were permanent, divorce practically unknown. I always personally thought that the problem was a male problem. You know, guys chasing around. Uh, a lot of men feel that uh, their, their gender is superior.